हेलो स्वतंत्र व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश न्यूज बुलेटिन आई एम महिमा ब्रिंगिंग यू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन सैटरडे इनॉग्रेटेड द महर्षि वाल्मीकि एयरपोर्ट एंड द रीडेवलप्ड अयोध्या रेलवे स्टेशन फ्रॉम वेयर ही फ्लैग ऑफ टू अमृत भारत एंड सिक्स वनडे भारत ट्रेन सम वर्चुअली द विजिट कम्स वीक्स अहेड ऑफ द कॉन्सिक्रेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ द राम टेम्पल हियर The ceremony is to be held on 22nd January. He also inaugurated, dedicated to the nation and laid the foundation stone of multiple development projects worth more than 15,700 crore rupees. These comprise projects worth about 11,100 crore rupees for the development of the city and its surrounding areas and those worth about 4,600 crore rupees related to other works in Uttar Pradesh. After he arrived in the temple town earlier in the day, Prime Minister Modi held a road show from the airport to the railway station and was greeted by a large number of people who had gathered along its route. In a post on X, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, who received Modi at the airport, said, "Hearty welcome and greetings to respected Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji in Shri Ayodhya Dham." Aaj viksit Bharat ke nirman ko gati dene ke abhiyan ko Expressing anger over the sale of Abhya Hastam applications, Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy on Saturday directed the officials to make available as many applications as required to the applicants. Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy held a review on the submission of applications at Praja Palna program with Chief Secretary Santhi Kumari and other top officials. In the wake of the commencement of the Praja Palna, which has been launched on 28th December in the state, The chief minister inquired the officials about the details of the Gram Sabha's held so far, details of applications and the process of the applications at Praja Palna program. The chief minister asked the officials to make available as many applications as required. The chief minister instructed the officials not to create difficulty for the applicants in submitting applications. District collectors have been asked to take stringent action against those who sell applications. Revant Reddy suggested that public representatives should participate in the Praja Palna program. The authorities have been asked to ensure citizens do not face any kind of difficulty in submitting applications. Chief Minister A Revant Reddy extended to lakh rupees financial assistance to the bereaved family of Swiggy delivery boy who died accidentally while performing his duties. As promised earlier, the chief minister provided financial help to the family. The chief minister presented a check of 2 lakh rupees from the chief minister's relief fund to the victim's family at the secretariat on Saturday. Revant Reddy held a meeting with gig workers at Nampali Exhibition Grounds on 23rd December. He mentioned the issue of Swiggy boy who died accidentally 4 months ago while delivering food to a customer. The chief minister said in the meeting that he had expected the previous government would provide some relief to the victim's family but there was no response from the BRS government. After coming to know the struggle of the victim's family, the chief minister ordered the officials to provide 2 lakh rupees assistance from the chief minister's relief fund to the family. The officials collected the details of the family in just one week. The victim's family met the chief minister and received the assistance of 2 lakh rupees from the chief minister at the secretariat. The family expressed its gratitude to the chief minister for showing generosity. BRS MLC K Kavita on Saturday took exception to Telangana Chief Minister K Revant Reddy's comments that the previous BRS government bought 22 Toyota Land Cruiser vehicles without anybody's knowledge. Speaking to media persons in Varangal, Kavita said that the security arrangements of a chief minister and other VIPs are the responsibility of security agencies. Ultimately, the protocol of any chief minister is decided by the security wing, intelligence and the police. There is no role of politicians in that. She further said during the last 10 years the leaders never insisted on what kind of security cover that the police should provide to them. It is not fair for the chief minister to make an issue out of it and belittle it she felt. The BRS leader demanded the prime minister Narendra Modi to accord national festival status to Sammakka Saram Jatra a tribal festival describing it as a South Indian Kumbh Jatra. 
ఒక విషయం దయచేసి అందరు గమనించాలి గౌరవ ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారైనా గౌరవ మంత్రివర్యులైనా యావత్ ప్రభుత్వం ఎప్పుడైనా సరే వాళ్ళ సెక్యూరిటీ అనేటటువంటిది పోలీస్ వాళ్ళు ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వాళ్ళు చూసుకుంటారు ఎవరు కూడా మాకు ఇన్ని కార్లు కావాలి ఇంత సెక్యూరిటీ ఉండాలని ప్రజాప్రతినిధులు కోరరు సెక్యూరిటీ వాళ్ళు ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వాళ్ళు చూసి సజెస్ట్ చేస్తారు అదేవిధంగా సజెస్ట్ చేసినటువంటి వాళ్ళు కాన్వాయిని ఎట్లా బిల్డ్ చేయాలి ఎక్కడ బిల్డ్ చేయాలి అనేటటువంటి అంశాన్ని సీక్రెట్గానే ఉంచుతారు ఎప్పుడైనా కూడా ఎందుకంటే థ్రెట్ ఉంటుందనే సెక్యూరిటీ ఉంటుంది సో ఆటోమేటిక్గా ఎక్కడో వాళ్ళు పెట్టి దానికి కావాల్సినటువంటి ఫెసిలిటీస్ అన్నీ కూడా క్రియేట్ చేసినట్టు ఉన్నారు అవసరమైనప్పుడు తెచ్చి వాడతారు అవన్నీ మనకు కూడా చెప్పారు కదా సీఎం గారికి కూడా చెప్పకుండా చాలా ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వాళ్ళు చేసేటి ఉంటాయి మరి ఇప్పుడు ఉన్నటువంటి సీఎం గారు ఏమైనా ప్రత్యేకంగా కోరుతున్నారేమో నాకు తెలియదు కానీ గత పదేండ్లుగా మా మేము ఎప్పుడు కూడా ఇంత సెక్యూరిటీ ఉండాలి అంత సెక్యూరిటీ ఉండాలని కోరలేదు ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వాళ్ళు పోలీస్ వాళ్ళు ఇట్లా సెక్యూరిటీ ఇది ఫెసిలిటీ అంటారు వాళ్ళు చేస్తారు దానికి తగ్గ బడ్జెట్ వాళ్ళకు ఉంటుంది దాన్నో పెద్ద అంశం చేసి దాని మీద వెటకారంగా మాట్లాడడం ఏదో సీక్రెట్గా విజయవాడలో దాసుకున్నాం అవి ఏడ తయారవుతుందో ఎవరికి తెలియదు ఏడ దాచి పెడతారో ఎవరికి తెలియదు ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ బీపీ ఆడ తయారవుతుంది అదే అంటున్నది కదా మనకి ఏం తెలుసు పాడే ఆ పోలీసు వాళ్ళు ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ వాళ్ళు చేస్తారు జనరల్గా దాన్ని పెద్ద ఇష్యూ చేసి అదేదో దాసుకున్నాం అన్నట్టుగా గౌరవ ముఖ్యమంత్రి గారు మాట్లాడడం నిజంగా వారి గౌరవాన్ని తగ్గిస్తుంది తప్పితే ఇంకొక అంశం కాదు అల్టిమేట్లీ ప్రోటోకాల్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ సీఎం ఇస్ డిసైడెడ్ బై ది సెక్యూరిటీ వింగ్ అండ్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అండ్ ద పోలీస్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో రోల్ ఆఫ్ పొలిటిషియన్స్ ఇన్ దాట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ డిసైడెడ్ లైక్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్ దట్ మిస్టర్ ద కరెంట్ సీఎం థింక్ సో బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ద కేస్ బట్ సిన్స్ యూ వాజ్ మీ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మేక్ వన్ థింగ్ వెరీ క్లియర్ వీ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ ది స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఫ్రమ్ ది డిస్టిక్ ఆఫ్ వరంగల్ డిమాండింగ్ అ నేషనల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ స్టేటస్ టు బి గివెన్ టు ది సౌత్ ఇండియన్ వెరీ బిగ్ పాపులర్ జాతర which is called as South Indian Kumbha Mela, the Sammakka Saralamma Jatara. This is the highest conglomerate of tribal population of this country. This has to be respected. We earnestly request Honorable Prime Minister Garu to give the status of national festival to this Jatara, this tribal Jatara from Tel... As elections draw near, Shri Kakulam District Administration has tightened its grip on drug trafficking, aiming to curb the manis before polling day. District Collector Shri Kesh B. Latkar Chairperson of the Narco Coordination Committee chaired a virtual meeting today with key officials to strategize their plan of action. Addressing the committee, the collector emphasized the need for heightened vigilance in the next 3 months to prevent smuggling activities. He directed officials to allocate necessary personnel and crack down on the production and distribution of illicit arak. Close coordination between police and enforcement officers was stressed for conducting effective raids and cordon operations in vulnerable areas. Recognizing the risk of ganja smuggling from neighboring Odisha despite its absence in Shrikakulam, Latkar ordered strict surveillance on the borders to intercept illegal liquor and narcotics transit. District Superintendent of Police Radhika assured the committee of deploying additional personnel at existing check posts in Ichhapuram and Patpatnam. Two new check posts at Kotur and Meliaputti will further strengthen border security. Vizianagaram District Collector Nagalakshmi emphasized the need for providing all amenities at all polling stations in the district. In a video conference on Saturday with election officials, she directed sectoral officers and AROs to conduct thorough inspections of each polling station within the next three days. A detailed and accurate report on existing infrastructure must be submitted by 4th January. Highlighting the urgency of the matter, the collector stressed that the uploaded report by 4th January will determine the specific needs of each polling station. Funds will then be allocated accordingly. and the report will be sent to the election commission after verification if all facilities are in place the polling station will be considered ready for the upcoming elections eliminating last minute issues given that over 80% of polling stations are situated in government schools nagalakshmi recommended utilizing school management funds for necessary facilities headmasters should be approached immediately to seek permission from the school management committee The deadline for completing all required work is set for 20th January with reports to be uploaded promptly. <music> A 
Andhra Pradesh Congress Committee Chief and former MLC Gidugu Rudra Raju has said that the Congress Party State Affairs, in charge, and MP Manikkam Tagore will be touring the state on January 8th and 9th. He said that in these two days, Manikkam Tagore would stay in Vijavada to participate in the orientation program to prepare the party leadership for the next general elections. Recently, the All India Congress Committee President Malikarjuna Khadge and former President Rahul Gandhi held a crucial meeting with the Congress Party Coordination Committee along with the APCC Chief Rudra Raju in New Delhi. After returning to the state from New Delhi, the APCC President Rudra Raju addressed the media people at the Andhra Ratna Bhavan in Vijayawada on Saturday. He said that in view of the coming general elections, the Congress party is focusing on all sectors of the party to strengthen it across the state. As part of the series of programs, former Minister J.D. Shilam would hold a meeting with the Christian, Dalit Christian and other 15 organizations on 31st December, he said. Before that, the AICC chief Mallikarjuna Khadge would host the PCC President's meeting on 4th January in New Delhi, he added. Andhra Pradesh State Chief Electoral Officer Mukesh Kumar Meena has stated that the police and revenue department officials should provide strong security for the electronic voting machines and voter-verified paper audit trials stored in warehouse. The officials concerned should take special interest in this regard from time to time by coordinating with each other, he said. Mukesh Kumar Meena inspected the EVMs and VVPATS stored in warehouse at the Golpudi Agriculture Marketing Yard near Vijavana on Saturday. He inspected the security arrangement and asked about their details. Speaking on the occasion, in view of the coming general elections, strong security should be necessary at the warehouse. It should be continued up to the completion of the election process, he said. TDP General Secretary N. Lokesh on Saturday demanded that Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy do justice to Agrigal victims. In a letter to the Chief Minister, Lokesh said that Agrigold was launched when the late Vyas Rajshekhar Reddy was the Chief Minister. It indulged in scams at that time itself. After the TDP came to power, in 2014, the 21,000 acres of Agrigold were attached, arrested the management representatives and did justice to the victims but still false allegations were levelled against the then government, he said. He said that the victims met him during his Yuva Galampara Yatra and demanded that justice be done to them. What happened to the assurance given to the Agrigal victims that their money would be returned to them within a week of coming to power? He asked. The victims suffered more now as the 250 crore rupees that was supposed to be distributed to them by the then TDP government was reduced by 14 crore rupees and distributed to them after 22 weeks of coming to power. Union Minister Anurag Thakur Friday hit out the Congress, terming it anti-development and accusing the party of talking about caste survey and regionalism in the face of a loss. After attending Vikas Bharat Sankalp Yatra events in the Jhanduta Assembly constituency of Himachal Pradesh, he said this is the first time that a Prime Minister has taken public welfare schemes of the Union government to the doorstep of every person in the country. Lacks of people in different states have got the benefits of the government schemes and through this yatra. Awareness about the schemes is continuously increasing and people are getting benefits, the union minister said. Targeting the Congress, Thakur described the party as anti development and said, whenever it loses, it starts talking about caste census and regionalism. Dekhye, Congress, when the party is Congress, the party is talking about the party, the party is talking about the party, the party is talking about the Congress is talking about the party, the party is talking about कांग्रेस कभी देश को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए क्या करना है उस पे चर्चा करने के लिए तैयार नहीं होती जबकि तीनों राज्यों में मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ और राजस्थान में यह स्पष्ट तौर पर दिखाई दिया कि जो आकांक्षी जिले थे एस्पिरेशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट थे वहां पर जो मोदी सरकार ने काम किया उसके अभूतपूर्व उसके रिजल्ट आए यह साफ देखने के मिला कि जहां पर आपने विकास किया वहां पर आपको ज्यादा वोट मिला तो मैं कांग्रेस से इतना ही कहता हूं कि आपने तो वर्षों तक लोगों के साथ अन्याय किया उनको गरीबी में धकेला उनको न्याय नहीं मिलने दिया तो दूसरी ओर मोदी सरकार ने गरीब जनता को न्याय भी दिलाया सुविधाएं भी दिलाई 
और आज साढ़े तेरह करोड़ गरीब गरीबी रेखा से बाहर निकल कर आए देखिए जो इंडी गठबंधन में है आपस में ही न्याय ना कर पा रहे हो सीटों पे तालमेल ना हो जहां पर अधिकतर उनके नेता गंभीर भ्रष्टाचार के आरोपों में या जेल में या बेल पर हैं वो न्याय क्या दिलाएंगे टीडीपी चीफ नाना चंद्र बाबू नायडू एक्सप्रेस सॉलिडारिटी विद स्ट्राइकिंग आंगनबाड़ी वर्कर्स नायडू हु इज ऑन अ थ्री डे टू टू कुपम ऑन सैटरडे विजिटेड द धरना साइट वेर दी आंगनबाड़ी वर्कर्स आर स्टेजिंग अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन लेटर टॉकिंग टू मीडिया पर्सन He regretted that though the Anganwadis have been on strike for the past 20 days there is absolutely no response from the government recalling that their wages were revised to times during the TDP regime he strongly condemned the attitude adopted by this government towards them observing that when a section of persons are agitating it is the duty of the government to resolve the issue promising the agitating anganwadis that party would include their problems in the TDP manifesto The TDP chief felt that if all of them across the state are united this government has no option but to concede their demands <laughs> A patient undergoing treatment in ICU at MGM Hospital in Varangal died on Friday night as the ventilator on which he was put on as part of his critical care treatment failed to work following the power failure. The hospital staff tried to start the hospital generator but in vain. The deceased was identified as 45-year-old Bojja Bikshapti. He hailed from Rajeswarpalli village under Narsampeta Mandal in Varangal district. He was admitted to the MGM hospital with chronic respiratory diseases. The life support system on which he was put worked for some time on Friday night before going out of order. The hospital staff responded immediately and tried to switch on the power generator but it did not work. The ventilator immediately got switched off leading to the death of the patient. The relatives of the patient staged a sit-in at the hospital demanding action against those responsible for the death of the patient. Meanwhile, three cases of COVID-19 cases were admitted in NGM hospital. Patient. Endu kalo leda? Sir, you are not. Who are you? Pillalo leda ani? Superintendent sir, you are. Superintendent sir, who are you? Pillalo. Chennai chennai sir. Chennai sir, low board work ani? Pillalo. Oh, no, ma'am, which one? Order sir. Okay. Chennai sir, you are. अरे का एमर्जेंसी अना इपड़ी एमर्जेंसी एट अर्धगंटेमर्जेंसी वाड़क पेशेंट ओ पेशेंट बैठी होता है गूगल हेज अग्री टू सेटल अ यूएस लॉसुट क्लेमिंग इट इनवेडेड द प्राइवेसी ऑफ यूजर्स बाय ट्रैकिंग देम इवन व्हेन दे वर ब्राउजिंग इन प्राइवेट मोड द क्लास एक्शन सॉट एट लीस्ट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड्स गो टू सर्च इंजन एंड पेरेंट कंपनी एल्फाबेट Large technology firms have faced increased scrutiny of their practices in the US and beyond. US District Judge Ivan Gonzalez Rogers put a scheduled trial for the case on hold in California on Thursday after lawyers said they had reached a preliminary settlement. 
Judge Rogers had rejected Google's bid to have the case dismissed earlier this year, saying she could not agree that users consented to allowing Google to collect information on their browsing activity. The terms of the settlement were not disclosed. However, lawyers are expected to present a formal settlement for the court's approval by February 2024. The class action, which was filed by law firm Boyce Schiller Flexner in 2020, claimed that Google had tracked users' activity even when they set the Google Chrome browser to incognito mode and other browsers to private mode. The search engine said the collection of search history, even in private viewing mode, helped site owners better evaluate the performance of their content, products, marketing, and more. Incognito mode within Google's Chrome browser gives users the choice to search the internet without their activity being saved to the browser or device. But the websites visited can use tools such as Google Analytics to track usage. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV. This is Mahima, signing off for the day. Keep watching Swatantra TV.